Lisa, fantastic to welcome you as Policeman Crime Commissioner for Surrey to Guildford Borough here this afternoon. Great to hear from you what you think we've achieved uh, in the last few years since you've been elected as Police and Crime Commissioner. Yeah, so the last three years have been really busy. It's been really good working with you as Guildford's MP and really exciting. I think we, we share a lot of the same goals about sort of women and girls, keeping people safe. Um, making sure that our residents are safe and that they feel safe. So hopefully, you know, now that Surrey's got more police officers than ever before and we're seeing those across Guildford, that's going to really help the Safer Streets money that yes. we've brought. Yes, Safer Streets funding. Tell me, Lisa, how much is that? That's right. So we've managed to bring in nearly a million pounds from the government that's going to be spent in Guildford um, on Safer Streets, making sure that the Safer Streets are safer for women and for people so that when they're going out, not just that they are safe, but also that they feel it. And it includes CCTV, extra lighting, making sure there are extra patrols, which is really important. We spent some time out and about in Guildford recently um, working with the nighttime economy to make sure that women are safe in those spaces as well, whether it's a threat of spiking or whatever it is, our officers are out there and that they're looking for perpetrators and dealing with it exactly where it's happening. So I think that's brilliant. But Angela, we know there's more yes, to do. Yes, so there are challenges in Guildford. So I think the things that I would highlight is there are issues around CCTV and yeah. taking responsibility and getting funding for that, um, particularly with Guildford Borough Council. Yeah. Um, Guildford has had a purple flag for its nighttime economy for a long time now. It's one of the things that we're incredibly proud of, especially as a university town. Um, but my understanding is that this year we're not going to get the purple flag because we haven't applied for it because of pressures at the council. Um, so I'm disappointed about that. And I think one of the things that I raised in Parliament and that I'm, I'm also worried about is that there aren't any single sex spaces mm. for our young women to actually go safely to the loo as they need to on yeah. a night out in Guildford um, because the council again has closed um, the public toilets. Um, so these are just small things that I see as challenges but yeah. I don't see them as impossible to overcome. I think working together um, getting the right support and trying to access funding that we can help our um, young women um, especially um, have a safe night out in Guildford. Yeah, and we'll make sure that working together we are accessing that funding yeah. and making sure that all of our residents feel safe and are safe in Guildford. Yeah, well can I just say a big thank you because I know you've been working your socks off since you were elected in 2021, um, but that particularly violence against women and girls, um, victims, uh, you've, you've done a huge amount of work um, and it, it just can't be un overstated how important um, that is for our communities and for people feeling safe. Well, thank you. Thanks.